Re-energizing Cities Forum took place in Quito on the margins of the Capita 3 conference. This conference takes place every 20 years. The last time at Habitat 2 in Istanbul, renewable energy with the exception of some hydro and perhaps geothermal was almost science fiction. This time, renewable energy was the center stage. At the Re-Energizing Forum, high-level participants shared their diverse experiences in a unique setting convening national and local decision makers, as well as a range of other stakeholders. Then we also had a cultural emotion. For us, we call ourselves Vanyarwenzuru, which implies people of the snow, just like the Ecuadorians would call themselves. But the snow was disappearing very fast. And once it goes, then we shall have no identity, we shall have no name. So we have to protect it. And the only way is to mitigate against climate change and therefore clean renewable energy. And we hope to be totally electric with our bus transportation in the next couple of years. And the other thing we've been doing is that at the beginning, at the outset, it wasn't very affordable to do require solar panels on residential development. But now it has come down, there's a lot of rebates, and we're actually requiring it because it is, there is a lot out there for residents and the commercial end. So I think that's going to also help us in terms of reducing our carbon footprint. Cities have come to realize that we want to be part of the solution. We don't want to only deal with the problem in regards to emissions. And it happens very much in Barcelona in regards to what we call energy poverty. There's areas of Catalonia who has around 7 million people where 10% of the population has no access to such a basic right. That is the possibility of heat up water, be able to light, illuminate their homes, the streets, etc. So Barcelona has said, and as Monica said, not only through ordinances that promote in a voluntary fashion the action of citizens as well as bedding, uh, in favor of good building techniques, but there has to be decisive public action that makes the transition towards renewable energy, a transition that sets aside fossil fuels. There was a strong recognition that while circumstances of cities and municipalities differ, the exchange of experience is of key importance. In a lively discussion with the audience, it clearly emerged that whatever renewable energy local solution, participation of citizens is of key importance for its success. I think just the first message for me is we always need to think energy efficiency and renewable energy. And I'm, I'm very happy that the report that we're looking at today stresses that very strongly, as well as the IEA uh, constantly putting that out. And I think if we look at the uh, strategies of cities also, it is obviously two sides of the same coin. We have to address uh, energy efficiency and renewable energy. Uh, we do have, on a federal basis, we do have bylaws um, which uh, set the standard for um, energy um, efficiency for new built houses. But as a municipality, we can do even more. So if we build a new house or new school or new city hall or something like that, um, we go even further than the federal bylaws because um, we do want to we do want to give a good example as I said before and we are now thinking about um, a new form of procurement uh, co um, concerning new buildings for example we plan to build a new hotel we are not doing this as a municipality but we are doing that with a private partner and uh, in the procurement, we are considering whether not only to give points for low energy um, for the house, but also for sustainable building of a house. Because you can um, build a house also out of renewable uh, materials, wood, for example. And um, I think this is uh, also a way to just give the lighthouses you've mentioned um, to um, to give good examples how to act sustainable. It's really about leadership. Uh, we at uh, the city of Vancouver, are, it's a, there's a political party at the local government level. We have a mayor and a council that is committed to being uh, the greenest city in the world. And uh, we've run on three elections now, uh, based on the fact that we 
would want this for ourselves, for our children, and for future generations. And we've been able to get the, I think, buy-in, the uh, support from the citizens, from our residents, as a result of that, that of uh, having these bold ideas and being committed to that. It comes from the leadership of the mayor and from of council, and all of us being co uh, conversant on the subject matter that we truly, as a political party, believe in this initiative. It is not only powerful to hear what cities have already accomplished, but also what they could be dreaming about for their energy systems. For if we have seen anything in the renewable energy industry, it is that dreams can come true very fast.